Hi everyone, Cinex of Tear. I have received a package sent by Firefly and it should include several development boards. So let's have a look. Let's start with this small box. Firefly, oops, Firefly RK3399. So that's the board they launched last year through via a Kickstarter, Kickstarter campaign. So it'd be good if. The camera would focus, we will not. So we have the chip here, some RAM chip, storage, Wi-Fi, some USB ports. Two SD card or is it one SIM card? I guess possibly uh, because we have an M2 connector here. And we have the IR uh, audio video jack, some button, expansion, gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, USB type C, SPDIF, one more USB 3 ports, and the power jack. Oh, okay. And at the bottom, uh, we have what looks like an MPCI connector for uh, maybe 4G, 3G modem that would you use with a SIM card holder. Another connector, MIP connector. Okay. So let's. Oh, there is something else. Okay, some spacers, antennas, and a credit case. I'll check that a bit later. Next. Oops, big box. Ugh. So this one is AIO thirty three ninety nine J. With 2 GB RAM, 16 GB storage. And this one is the industrial board. So it should be a bit bigger, and it is. Got it out and it comes uh, with a system on module. They call this system on module uh, core board, RK3399 core board, and this is the all in one uh, development kit that you can use for industrial application uh, with many different IO connectors here. And this one is an MPCI connector on top of the Wi Fi chip. Uh, for, um, for modems, 4G, 3G modems. Here we have an M2 connector for SATA. Some extra headers. Gigabit Ethernet. 
micro SD card and SIM card holder, HDMI output, two USB 3 ports, USB 2 port, some audio input output, I guess, power supply, and on the other side, some MIPI connectors, I believe. MIPI CSI, MIPI CSI for two cameras. So you could use the board directly like this in your uh, application or you could design your own base board and uh, with this kind of connector. It'll... Not sure what kind is it, MXM or... Yeah. And uh, do your own base board and use this module so you don't need to lay out um, circuitry for the memory and all the high-speed stuff. Next. Next, next. This box. So this one is more like a Raspberry Pi, but it's not a Raspberry Pi. It's Lib Computer Board, Rock RK3328CC, also called, also called Renegade. But they don't show it here. So it's just a Lib Computer, I collaborate with Fire fly team to design this board and I can see uh, Libre computer spends a lot of efforts to make mainline Linux work on their board so it might not be bad this is nothing this is the power cable micro USB And that's the board. So the shape is pretty similar to Raspberry Pi 3 and it should work in most uh, enclosures and you may be able to use uh, some hat board so through the 40 pin connector. Here you have the processor RK3328 HDMI output micro USB for power, video, audio output. Ethernet should be Gabit Ethernet, one USB 3 port and two USB 2 ports. And you have the micro SD card here. So there's no storage on this board. You have to rely on the micro SD like for Raspberry Pi. And I got the two gigabyte version of the board, but they also have one gigabyte and four gigabyte. And I guess if you have four gigabyte, you will give you will get two extra chips here. Okay, anything else? Yes. Oh, let's take it all. Okay. So this looks like a power adapter. Yes. 12 volt, 2 amps. So maybe I'll have to check which board needs this. I guess this is the industry is for the industrial board. Oh, this one has a bunch of smaller bags inside this package. Oh. Okay, so that's a fan, that's a sink, that's a fan sink. Okay, and that's one style. If you don't want something with a fan, they have another option, just a heat sink. And this one is for the smaller board. It's quite thin. But should do the job, I guess.
when I got here. Oh, okay, this is a SATA kit. So that gives me the option to I use the M2 connector with this guy, I guess. No, oh, here. And I could insert it inside here. Or not. Not here. Not this one. I guess it's not like this. Okay, I'm not sure where to connect it yet. Uh, but I will be able to connect it and get two SATA ports. Something dropped, this one. And that's one more power supply. If you can see, it's also 12 volts. Okay, so that will be... <laughs> oh, sorry, I missed one. And this one is a debug board, the typical USB to serial debug board. All right, so now I'll have to find some idea for testing. Uh, the two, the, I, I have two Rockchip RK3399 boards, so I'm thinking of running Linux on the industrial board and Android on Firefly RK3399. And at some point in time, or before, I will also run Linux, mainline Linux, on the Raspberry Pi-like board. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. See you next time.